Well, I had to start a different one. I'm sorry. I got a bunch of people waiting on the other one. I couldn't couldn't get into it. So I'm going to go over there and let them know that I could not get into it. All right. <laughs> Started a new live. Please go there. Still trying. All right. So we are live here. So I hope all the people that were waiting there come here. I was able to schedule a live, but then when I go to my dashboard, it's not there. I can see it as other people see it, but not as me signed in. So now I am here. Did we find everybody? Okay. Sorry, y'all. I don't know why it did that. It's really weird. It wouldn't let me in. Very strange. How's everybody today? Wow, a lot of people representing. Here we go. I recognize love from the galaxy. You've been commenting on my shit lately. Welcome. We got 14 people. That's cool, y'all. Yay. Thanks for coming. Ah, uh, you're here now. Hey, John. I recognize a lot of you guys. Aw. Welcome, welcome. How many of you guys are new? Hey, Justin. Hey, Natalia. Oh, cool. Poland is here. Man, Poland is always around. I might be coming to Poland in September, actually, because I'm filming the documentary. I'm making a documentary about Amanita Muscaria. And we are working on the script. It's almost finished. I've already started doing interviews for it and still looking for our editor. And the schedule is all laid out for filming and everything. So we'll be uh, in Europe in, at the end of August and in September. So, oh, Love from the Galaxy. You're Lithuanian. Cool. I just got a bunch of Amanita from Lithuania. From Dianus Dubikas in A A L Y T A U S Alatos. I don't. That's where they. Anyway. <laughs> so hey, North Carolina's checking in. Lots of new people. Scarier? How scary is it? What's scary? So today, I ba basically wanted to open this up for any questions and answers because most of you by now know that I have my website, amityadreamer.net. I am uploading some stuff to YouTube lately that have been a little on the edge there because, you know, the censorship is really bad. So I'm doing my best to be very careful. And when I look at all the other things that people are allowed to upload about Amanita Muscaria that I'm not allowed to upload, it's, it gets really frustrating because they're getting all the views and my views are tanking. A year ago, I was earning about $1,000 a month on YouTube ad revenue. And now I make about $20 a month because I'm not allowed to upload stuff about this mushroom. But other people are. <laughs> So I've been uploading some things lately that are really right in the edge, but we'll see how that goes. And today I'm uploading a video on a full Muscomol experience and when you should and should not do that and what to expect. And at the very end of the video, I've got some really cool visuals. My store is open right now, but it's usually sold out by the end of today. So if you want to check it out, it's mushroomvoice.com. And some of the items are already really low in stock if you want to support like that. Thank you, Mimi. I'm trying. And I've got our community. If you want to be able to actually talk back and forth, I have a community. I got off Patreon because they're starting their censorship. So I made my own private version of Patreon. And it'll take me months to get that paid off. But you can go there. It's community Mushroom Voice. But if you just go to Mushroom Voice, my store, there's a banner at the top. And you can click on it and go there. And we do Zooms. We have a lot of themed Zooms for different 
purposes. We have just community Zooms, but then we have themed ones like men's healing groups and women's healing, ADD, uh, advanced entheogens and high trip dose stuff. So it's pretty cool if y'all want to check either one of those things out. Uh, let's see, John, no way you can get more out there on the edge than me. Just keep going. It's fine out here. <laughs> I don't mind being on the edge. I've been on the edge my whole damn life. But when you're trying to help people, I don't know. It's such a thin line between what I know to be true about this mushroom and what this mushroom gives me and does for me and being completely honest about it and public about it. And then it, it, it's so fringe that I don't want to alienate people who just need it, that it's just good medicine and the people that need that medicine. I don't want to take this away from them because I'm too weird or too out there. You know what I mean? Thank you, Natalia. Every once in a while, I put makeup on. <laughs> uh, would be equivalent to that you can't compare the two. Um, I have videos on that where I talk about both. There's literally no statement you can make about the blue one that you can make about the red one. They are they are so completely different. There's no comparing. There's no moving over. There's there's just nothing except that they are both fungi. You have to treat it as its own thing. Kind of like if like I'm on Fahrenheit and when I travel to another country and I need to know Celsius, I'm having to compare it to Fahrenheit to understand it. But if I stayed there long enough, I would quit doing that and just try to learn this temperature is this number in Celsius and learn it its own way. You know what I mean? And like, that's kind of what you have to do with this. I have to be careful what I say. I don't want to get a slap on the wrist. Working with some old coffee. Oh, hey, Willem. Who knows? I can help grow a few that I gathered. I don't know what you're trying to grow, Willem. I think your science knowledge is well established. So I think I know what you're thinking, but don't worry. You make total sense. Oh, really? You're, I didn't know you were conservative minded. Uh, can Amanita help with uh, Amanita helps with a lot of addictions that are dopamine based addictions like alcohol and smoking and sugar, stuff like that, especially things that mess with your your blood sugar. Hey, Gladdy, uh, you once said you talked to Kevin Feeney about the three-hour method, then you commented about 50%. Uh, yeah, did you two talk about a lot? Uh, no, it's established. It was established back in the 1990s. There's papers out there. They're linked on the forum. Um, I can't pull it up right now, but yeah. I mean, I've got the links all over the place. I just don't know where it is right at this moment. Um, and I have to be careful what I link to, but if you go to my forum, just type in Amanita research forum and you'll get it. And yeah, it's a Japanese study, I think. So if it's in Japanese, but you can still read the data tables that show the loss at three hours or whatever. Uh, Kevin, the, the muscimol side of this mushroom is a GABA agonist, which is also what benzodiazepines are, if that answers your question. That's what I used it for. If you want to see my story and why I do what I do, that's the main reason I do what I do. You're welcome, Susan. So very grateful for you. Still a baby learning. Aren't we all, though? I still feel like I know very little. It's crazy. The more I know, the more I know I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I've been microdosing Amanita, and it's been amazing. Aw, that's great, Karma. Hey, Jason, does Panther work on anxiety? Yeah, it's everything that's in Amanita is in Pantherina. It's the same thing, yeah. Just be careful with it. It's just four times to six times stronger, you know what I mean? You're welcome, Kevin. So I'm here to answer your questions. I'm not coming to the summer solstice, Sean. I had to cancel it. Uh, you know how... Well, I used to be very thick headed and I would force something to happen if I wanted it. And now that I done in theogens, if some if my energy changes about it, I will actually give that some thought. But my energy shifted about it. But then actual things in real life started happening. 
that I would have to work to get over to still make it happen until there were so many things that I knew I would be pushing a boulder up a hill. And that is no, no, no. Don't do that. <laughs> so I had to cancel that ceremony. I'm kind of bummed about it, but also I can go anytime. And also crossing borders is just getting so difficult. I think that my passport is flagged and I don't enjoy the harassment, but I would go anyway. But also I will enjoy the opportunity to rest. I'm, I'm home, you know, a week sometimes or sometimes just two days and I turn around and have to leave again for this documentary and for doing ceremonies. So it's nice to sort of have a break in the calendar and just rest. So, I mean, like I don't even, I unpack my suitcase, but like all my camera gear, my camera bag and stuff, it's all just still sitting here packed. You can, I don't know where you are, Sean. Are you in Alberta? The Canadian border, man. I used to think the American border was bad. The Canadian border is really bad. They're taking down trees across the street. They just started. So if there's noise, that's why. Oh, it's so loud all of a sudden. Can y'all tell me how loud it is on your end? They just cranked up a bunch of machinery. Is it loud? Started using Amanita and ice cubes in smoking form because of you. Yeah, I love the smoking. That's a whole different thing. I'm going to have to listen later. Thank you, Mom Anita. I love that. I need a t-shirt. So well, I'm glad y'all can't hear it. That's good. Cool. Excellent. I have a lot of gear here on my, for my microphone. Like I had to get somebody to help me put this gear together for this mic. So I think it's got some kind of noise canceling stuff on it. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, Dubois. That's excellent. I'm so happy to hear it, dude. I love that stuff. I made it for me. And when I saw how good it worked, I was like, yep, the world needs to know about this. Um, I uploaded the video on a full Muscomal experience. I'm still waiting for YouTube to check it for words that they're going to use against me. But when it's done, when we're done here, y'all should go watch that. And let me get you the link to the Mushroom Voice community. If y'all want to be able to actually talk back and forth in a Zoom, you know, like, like normal people. Let me drop that in the chat right here. All right, I dropped in the chat. That's our community. Do you think there's a way to reduce the amount of censorship in the future? Why is it so intense with this mushroom? Um, I know why it's intense with this mushroom, and it's mostly because I have haters. Because before I started doing this, very few people were talking about it. You could only find information like really deep inside of like, mushroom forums that were basically about other entheogens, not this one. So every once in a while you could dig in those and find it. And there were a couple of really big groups on YouTube, uh, on Facebook that were devoted to this. And the leaders of those groups were able to build sort of like a following in that group. And they were spreading just horrible misinformation. So when I showed up to just get involved and see what's going on. And I started seeing these people posting inaccurate information. I would correct them. I would leave the science. I would get thrown out of the groups. And out of that experience, several people started stalking me. Like they were angry that I was, that I showed up in their group. They were angry that I started posting on YouTube and they felt threatened because someone entered their space where they were an authority and they didn't have to work very hard to be an authority. They didn't have to do their due diligence and they just, had all these people following whatever they said. I didn't mean to disrupt their group. I didn't know I was disrupting their group. I come in and innocently believed everyone wanted to know them the truth or the research or proper information. Had I known then what I know now, I never would have gone to those groups and I wasn't trying to be a know-it-all. I misunderstood the purpose of the group. And once I did that and got thrown out and people started hearing in their group who I was and then talking about me in those groups, 
I was a threat to those people. And they started stalking me everywhere I went on the internet. And then they would come after me in forums or like on Reddit and challenge me. And I, that's fine because I know the science. I backed it up with science. And they would just do the laugh emoji or mock me or just call me names. Typical like logical fallacy stuff when people don't have a logical argument. They just resort, you know, to ad hominem attacks and that kind of thing. And I'm fine with that. I'll just leave. Like, I don't need to be in that space. But then they would go report me everywhere I went and get my shit taken down. It, it's just childish, honestly. So that's fine. Oh, hey, Stephen. Your work driving. Okay, cool. So you can listen. So it, I understand little people with little minds are going to have to, like, focus on anything that threatens their life. But I don't understand why not just put your energy into being a better person instead of trying to stalk me and come after me. Like, y'all, people make videos about me and upload them to YouTube. Crazy shit. Like, crazy videos. And then people steal my shit and then say it's theirs and then give bad information in my name. Like, But that happens and there's nothing that you can do about it. And I'm trying to be okay with it. But when it takes the information away from the world who needs it, from people who need it, from people who are suicidal and they need this and the healing that it gives. And I'm devoting my life to those people and everything that I can, my money, like my time to helping people. And then other people want to like cut me off and and be like, you're threatening me. So shut up. And I don't care if people die and people are scared. I want to feel like I'm OK. And it's like, you know, I don't get it. I don't get that. And I'm one of those people that I work with people when people show up and they're like, look at this thing I make. I'm like, oh, my God, let me tag you on Instagram and I'll upload the picture of the thing they make. And I'm like, y'all need to go see this person. And I share what other people in our community are doing, because this is what this thing taught me to do, to network and share with each other. Like there's no such thing as scarcity. There's plenty to go around. You don't have to shut somebody down for you to have a voice. And especially today, everybody can have a voice. Like, get on TikTok. You can have a voice. <laughs> it's crazy. I know why they want to keep Amanita a secret. And it's because any other thing that's complex or difficult, like they tried to do with college degrees. You know, there was a time where you couldn't get that information. But now you can. So now colleges are trying to make themselves worth something. Because anything you can learn in a college, you can learn online now. People want to know that they're valuable and that their their way of earning a living or be important is valid. And, and when you threaten that, they want to gatekeep it. And this mushroom is a complex mushroom for sure. But instead of making your living or your ego or your sense of self-worth based on that information, make it be on just the fact that you exist. And then give the information away freely and work with everybody else who's doing the same. Like the only way I support myself is my store. And yet everything I make, I uploaded the recipes for how to make it yourself. And now other people are selling the same things I make. And it's causing my sales to go down. I'm just going to try to have faith that I'll find other ways to pay these bills. Like it's... I. Uh, I don't know. I don't understand why, why humans, <laughs> I was going to say why humans. And it's really just, I don't understand why humans. <laughs> Let me go back and answer. Let's see. It's interesting. Amanita grows under pine trees that grow pine cones. Well, there's, we've been talking about this pine cone thing, not only because it represents the pineal gland, but also that you can, cook pine needles and it's really good for the immune system but also because they grow with the trees whatever and they grow with deciduous trees birch trees in other areas so what i want to know is if you prepared amanita with the leaves or the bark or the sap from any of these trees do they work synergistically do they stack in any way what's the best way to determine the correct introductory i have a video angry drunken german on amanitadreamer.net because all my shit is censored here. 
that says how to find your dose. It's in the dosing playlist. Panja, I used to have seizures in the past. I want to experiment, but want to make sure it's safe. That is called practicing medicine without a license. We have a law against that here in the United States. So I can't give medical advice or any advice about your body or your physical health. I'm sorry. Um, the only thing that I can tell you is that because this mushroom works on the nervous system, it's being looked at. The research is looking at nervous system issues. Can we mix two kinds of mushrooms? I have two batches, one from Canada and the other. Yeah, they're all the same thing. Uh, Gladdy, do you still think mature open caps? It's not what I think. That's what the science shows. That's what the research shows. Uh, I've seen a Japanese study that says small, medium ones do. Kevin also agrees. Uh, no, and I don't know why. I think maybe Kevin must have misunderstood what you were saying because he's also aware of this study that shows as it opens, it, it gains more. Uh, I link to that, I think in my video where I talk about which ones to pick, I think I have the link to that study. It's more recent. It's from like four years ago. That Japanese study is from the 1990s. So it's been replaced with better information. I encountered one of those haters on Facebook. Guy was unhinged. There's several unhinged people on Facebook uh, in the Amanita groups. But Am uh, Facebook's just become a shit show lately. Like it's the bad side of town now. Um, who has time for that, Angela? Well, people that it's not, I get what you're saying. Who has time for that? Everybody's got time to do something. And what I don't understand is why not spend your time trying to help yourself feel better as a human being, instead of spending your time trying to shut down other people and control other people outside of you. It's like playing whack-a-mole and it's a game that never ends. And it, it reminds me of this old movie from a long time ago called War Games and the AI finally figured out that the only way to win was not to play the game. And it's like, exactly. The only way to be mentally healthy is to not try to control everybody. To just fix yourself. Oh, thank you. Ah, 1111. That's great, Sansi. Thank y'all. Oh, yeah. They, they got this thing now on YouTube where y'all can send me these super chat things and help support me financially. That's freaking awesome. Aw, thank you, Sansi. You're so sweet. Oh, and thanks for the hearts and the sunflower and the mushroom. Do you want to ask me a question? You send me money, I'll give you my undivided attention. <laughs> I used to when I first started, y'all. I just spent all my own money, bill money, grocery money on this channel. And I didn't want to ask for help or ask for money. Y'all had to beg me to get a Patreon. Now I'm like, y'all, I need money. Now that I have three full websites I'm trying to support to get off of censorship. Like, literally, it's like... $3,000 a month to pay my bills right now for this, for, for Amity Dreamer. Um, let's see, where was I? So they want to gatekeep and keep Amity a secret. It's not that they want it, Dylan, that they want to keep it a secret. They just want to be the only ones that are an authority on it because that's how they get their ego needs met. Amity is the most misunderstood and, and suffering most misinformation on the internet. It is. Sakana one, you are very welcome. Thank you. Mindful before meeting, you inspired me to start a meditation channel. Oh my God. Link your channel. Mindful before meeting. Will you drop the link in the chat here? Guided meditations. That's great. Um, yeah, I think they do. Oblium. Right. They're not making any money off of it. Susan, um, Who's not making any money? The Facebook people. Thanks a lot for your work. I have started to use AM in January. Went off of sleeping medication. Oh, good. I followed your instructions. Man, Shanti, that's so good. I'm so glad. I'm so glad for you. I'm so glad for you. Oh, my God. 20 bucks. Who gave me 20 bucks? Y'all, thank you. Dubois, hey. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you so much. This helps, y'all. This is grateful. I'm grateful for this. Thank you. If y'all are watching the playback, I can't answer you and you can't do the, 
this thing. But I think I'm going to start going live a little bit more here on YouTube because I cut down my involvement in other areas of my life because I was able to get a little bit of help. Um, and so now I can come back to YouTube and do more live videos. Yeah, why humans? <laughs> oh, my God. Um, let's see. Have any experience in realizing? Yup. What direction do you see Amanita heading? Um, I can tell you who is this. I know that it's going to blow up. I mean, it's already blowing up. And with the documentary that I'm making, it's really going to blow up. But what I see happening is corporations are going to get involved and sell different food supplements and preparations the same way they do all herbs or whatever. And for whatever purposes, some people are going to want to get legitimacy by the FDA. And so they're doing clinical trials and they'll get it for different ways or different preparations or whatever. A lot more people will start channels and do what I do. The space will get flooded with more sellers. More people will go out there in the world and find them and make slurries and spread them and grow them. Science will do more research. We'll learn more about all the things that it can be used to treat. And eventually it will be common knowledge. There will be no more mycophobia, no more censorship. Everybody will know about it. They will reach for it first when they have anxiety. Hopefully more and more people will start doing ceremonies with this mushroom, having groups and parties and get togethers with this mushroom on a regular basis. And the people in the mushroom will have their relationship healed and back together. And we will have much less mental illness in the world. That is my, that is my story. And I'm sticking to it. I realize there's, Danger can come in many forms in that whole thing, but I am holding space that this and us can emerge again, get remarried, find each other easily without the powers that be causing harm or problems or issues. And I want to ask that all of you hold that same space, that, that, that that's just the intention that we set and that's the space that we hold around it. You know what I mean? John, thank you. A, is that uh, the Australian $10? Thank you so much for the donations, y'all. This is fantastic. Oh, y'all are very generous. And I'm very grateful. Thank you. Let's see. Where are we? Thanks a lot. Oh, uh, got that. Yeah, why human, Jay? First time catching you live, though I'm on the blue side of the mushroom. Yeah. Uh, so to speak, I have a great interest in these and you're doing such important work. Oh, cool. Well, keep me posted, Alvina, if you use it. And the blue one. I love the blue one. Did you see my eight and a half gram trip that I uploaded? <laughs> it's on AmityDreamer.net because I couldn't put it here. Thank you, Susan, for the vote of confidence. Amy love, I have fibromyalgia and I can't take gabapentin. I found it to be incredibly helpful for nerve issues, right? Yep. I probably had fibromyalgia, but I've been on this mushroom so long. Your thoughts on Mulungu? This plant started to help me in my... Yeah, I don't know anything about it. I'm sorry, Guyom. I've never heard of it. Maybe you could educate me. Hello from Sweden. Hey, Jeanette. Man, your info blowed my mind when I heard about magic. We have a lot of them. Never heard that we can use them without drying. Are you, there's so many ways to use them. I have to be careful what I say here, but I have videos on using them raw, using them dried, using them as tea, smoking them, topical, and then full muscamol. So, yeah, uh, Socon pantherinas are four to six times stronger than muscarias. You have to keep doing live streams because, yes, yeah, super chat. Oh, I know, right? I tried Mulungu and didn't do much. I don't know if it was a bad batch. Um, Sean, seriously, oh, my God. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all are amazing. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Who now? Who just did the 10? Susan, thank you. Oh, my God, y'all. Thank you. I still have a hard time taking money. <laughs> thank you. Um, lots of questions. I want to keep moving. You have to keep doing super chats. I tried Malungu. Are convulsions something unpleasant or not really with Amanita? I don't like them. I don't enjoy them. 
I try not to take that much ibogenic acid because I don't like them. I take ammo with antipsychotics to come off medication on okay. uh, Timmy. That is also practicing medicine without a license. I can't answer medical questions. I'm sorry. Yeah, we do need these mushrooms, right? Frick, I screwed that sentence. I don't know what sentence you screwed. Where did you get yours? Uh, speaking of where to get this, I have uh, verified vendors who sell them on my website. Just go to where to buy. And they've been approved and I stand behind them so that you know what you're getting. If And, and it supports my work and what I do. Because the more they sell, the more they're willing to continue to pay me to be able to be there. And that helps pay the bills on the website. So your oil I bought is still helping my back pain. Yay. Cool. <laughs> Whoever's bad mouthing you. Yeah. You know, do you think this mushroom helps with grief? And would you say that it's completely medicinal? Here's what I found about grief and this mushroom. Cause I've had some things I've had to be grieving. It seems like it throws you into it like completely but then helps lift you out of it pretty quickly. I don't know. That's been my experience with it. Like it, I deal with something in the real world now without being afraid of it. I go right into it. I feel it. And I'm not afraid because it doesn't, I don't stay there. It feels like I lift back out of it and I'm, a, and I make peace with it. It's, it's completely medicinal, but it's also very spiritual. It's also very good for mental health. Like it's just, it is the do everything thing, in my opinion, Leo. Just online. Okay, let's see. The idea of the FDA is legitimate. Well, don't even get me started about them. And the robber barons of the 1800s and the beginnings of the um, Industrial Revolution and the history of modern medicine. I'll just leave it at that. When you put the mushroom in the body, it sets a field of love around. It's very contagious, right? It is the love mushroom. It is the love mushroom. Oh, uh, thank you, Guillaume. Thank you again for the donation. Bye from Canada. Angry, drunk, and German. Thank you. Streams are the best way to get across a lot in a short time. Build your community and support the channel. Well, you know what? That is a good idea. You're right about that. I guess I'll just do it more often, right? That's I love it. I love getting to talk to you guys. I never know who's watching my videos. I never get to, unless people comment, you know what I mean? Yes, manifest that, right, Susan? I think it's a good thing to manifest. Okay, Kaluminati Scott. Hi, Scott. I agree 100%. This is just the beginning for Amity and Enlightenment, and you are in the forefront. Yep. Hopefully, a lot of us will be in the forefront. You know what I mean? I had a dream about a ceremony in Sweden back in February. You know, I'm doing a ceremony in Sweden, right? Uh, go to the go to this page for the ceremony calendar. Wow, the ground is shaking from the what they're the work they're doing out there. Okay, this is the ceremony calendar. If any of you might want to see where any ceremonies are, you can go click on that and see where I will be. Let's see. Everyone, don't forget to take your iodine. I eat mine. I still get like salt that's got iodine in it. There's somebody near Zurich uh, in Bern. I mean, in. Um, Sweden, it's in Zurich, is it not in Zurich? Straws. It's in Zurich, Sweden. I try to find the links and learn more. Yeah, do that, Jeanette. Any tips for microdosing? Um, also, I have a I have a video on microdosing on AmanitaDreamer.net, and then I have a how to find your dose on AmanitaDreamer.net. Autistic solidarity has being into something so nice, especially compared to low, helped you accept neurodivergency more in the face of ableism. I'm having a hard time not getting angry and upset with ableism because it has caused so much harm to autistic people like imprisonment and chained up and medicated in mental institutions historically marginalized and and a lot of a lot of people that are autistic are homeless because of the way they're treated by society and pushed out of jobs and unable to maintain eye contact and because so many therapists try to say these if people do this you know 
look out. They're not to be trusted. And it's traits of, of autism. Or if, if I see people in my office that are these traits, I know they're not serious about working. And, and those are traits of autism. Like we are, we are treated so badly by all experts in society. And, and I'm in so many autistic groups of people that every once in a while they'll do check-ins with people that are on like suicide watch and stuff and asking how many people have been suicidal this week. Like it's, it's bad. What I found that Amanita did for me is help me just accept myself. And now I'm like full on out there. I, I stem, you know, I do things like mess with my lips or whatever, or, or just, I don't know. I twitch. I do stuff that I, I sway and I do it on camera and I don't, I don't apologize for it anymore. I don't make eye contact if I don't want to, and I don't apologize for it. I don't let people tell me who I need to be and what's right and wrong and how I present or the whether I do or don't wear makeup or whether my clothes do or don't match. Like, I don't care anymore. I don't care anymore. But I still get upset when I watch people being treated badly that are autistic or experts pontificating. Therapists have done some of the most damage to autistic people and doctors, too. It hasn't helped my tolerance for that bullshit, but it's helped me accept myself. I share your hope of humans and mushrooms unified for the betterment of the world. Me too, Alvina. Does that Amity to help you realize your health and your priorities and give you new light, new ways of self-nourishment? It is the self mushroom. It's the grow the self. It's the power mushroom because it gives you your power and it tells you to own your power in the world and why you're here and to own your place. I have videos about the ego. I think they're here on YouTube. If not, they're on AmanitaDreamer.net. It is the power mushroom. Absolutely. Yes. Um, so I need to help with sleep. I mean, that's, that's why I take it, uh, a lot. Does Pantherina have any medicinal value? It, Pantherina has the same medicinal values as this one. It's just stronger. Definitely sets a field around you, John. Yeah. Right. He agrees. Yes. Saw the blue one report and loved it. <laughs> Angela really appreciate your bravery and sharing that with everyone. I just don't care what people think of me. I don't know that I'm brave so much. <laughs> just don't give a shit what people think. Oh, my God. Thank you, Maela. Thank you. I have started in March. It helped me sleep. It's such a relief. It was so hard before. I love Emma. Me too. And thank you for your donation. Thank you. Maybe I will see you in our community or something. Every once in a while, I might run a free, you know, like week or something on our community site maybe i don't know but i'm definitely want to do these more these lives because y'all are so freaking supportive and amazing do you have an eta for the release of the documentary the eta is um we're fin we're in production right now post-production starts in the fall we start marketing in january of 23 we hope for a spring release. We are entering uh, Sundance and South by Southwest. I don't know if we'll get in any of those. So that's sort of the timeline if we don't run into any problems. Sweden is not Switzerland. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, my God. Sorry. Uh, coming to Finland. No. Uh, Sweden. I'm going to Sweden first and then Switzerland. And the ceremony in Switzerland is in Bern. And the one in Sweden is in, well, frickin' I'll go look at the calendar. I'll just go look in the calendar. Stockholm, the one in Sweden is in, is in Stockholm, and the one in Switzerland is in Bern. And then I'm doing, I'm speaking at MycoFest. It's in Pennsylvania, and that is at the beginning of August. And we are also doing an outside ceremony around a fire at MycoFest. And then I'm also doing a ceremony in Montana in July. So, yeah. Oil drum. Yeah, eye contact. So overrated. <laughs> uh, let's see. Gladdy, what happens to Ibo when it's smoked? I think that it is a little bit of it's getting decarbed and some of it is not. But it's a very different experience. I think that some fat soluble things are coming across that don't necessarily in the tea 
it's really, I just still don't understand what's happening there. I really don't. But smoking it is definitely a very different experience. Dried it. Um, it's not the same decarb. Now, it has nothing to do with the same ways that, that THC decarbs. So dried at different temps or various amanita smokable resins would give different experiences. No. No. It's just dried as dried and smoked as smoked. And it's it's just its own thing. We have the best autism programs down here in Western Australia. Super, super. Really? Really? That's so hopeful. Uh, kelp is the best iodine. I just can't get past seaweed taste, man. I'm so sensitive to ocean stuff, like fishy, fishy tasting. I would have to take it in pill form, and I don't like taking pills. I like things close to the land, but yeah, it's probably more bioavailable than that bullshit they put on salt. Amen to that. I'm autistic myself and have ended up as pretty badly broken person as a result of neglect and mistreatment by society. And I only have the mushrooms to thank for still being here. Well, your story is my story, Alvina. Same, same, same. Hell yes. Live and let live. I take Dulce as well. Dulce, Susan? I don't know what that is. How do you enjoy the very strange nature of how everything seems normal but altered? I love that question. That's from the crowned Omniarch. That's the hardest thing that I deal with every day that I think a lot of us who get into entheogens deal with is how do you go on and act like everything is the same and normal when also at the same time nothing is the same or normal? And with this when in particular it alters the way that you perceive time so much so that I am aware that I'm jumping timelines, that I'm living in, in different timelines simultaneously and creating altered realities simultaneously living both and then picking the best one and moving back into that. Like, as I say it, it sounds insane. I guess it's, I guess it's easier to live like that when you've been autistic your whole life and you don't feel like you belong here anyway and you feel weird and like an outcast and like nobody else, like you don't, you're not like anyone else and nobody else would understand what you're dealing with and you know something is just very different about you already. Like when you grow up that way, this is just a whole different way to be different. But it's nice to be in this community because once you start doing entheogens, all you got to do is talk to somebody else doing entheogens and, and, and everybody just, you know, you know that, you know, and so you're among friends. I think it's why I created my community. I did Patreon and why I started making these zoom meetings on Patreon, because we needed a community of other people that see the world differently now. And we have that advanced entheogen group, you know, how do you enjoy the, uh, let's see. I think it's part of why it's so important to share the truth with no ego and ulterior motives to offer that hope to others. That's what I'm trying to do to, I agree, Alvina. Um, Oblium is going to see us in Switzerland. Yay. Cool. Um, let's see. How are you traveling to all these places without proof of X? Oh, I'm vaccinated. I had to do it to travel. Like I have work to do. This is my job and I'm not going to let that stop me from doing this because there are too many people that need this and whatever I need or want takes a backseat to that. I'll do whatever I need to do. I mean, that is the least of the shit I've had to deal with to do what I'm doing. So um, just checked it considering... Um, Midsummer didn't help the uneducated debunk the negative myths. What happened with Midsummer? I don't know who, who that is. Did they just spread more bad information? Um, Scott, hi there. Love your content. I'm in Minnesota watching for the first time live. I love it. I have lots of Amanitas from last year I collected. Oh, Scott, use them though, because once they once you dry them, once you pick them and dry them, they're good for like nine months and then they will begin to start losing potency um if you can't use them up then at least get them in oil and you sort of suspend it there in time and just keep it out of sunlight you know and you can keep it for a lot longer so that you don't lose them 
Let's see. He fly thin. I as autists learn to maintain eye contact. It's intense for a normal person to bear. I think that's the reason we avoid it. No, and I agree. Like I don't. Oh, this eye contact thing. Why are humans so obsessed with it? It is intense because when I look in someone's eyes, I'm taking in their soul. Like I'm, I feel what they're feeling and it can be overwhelming if they're not in a good place or they're not a good person. Hey, Alan in New Zealand. Where are we? Hi there. Renee loves you. Renee loves everybody. Aww. You aren't supposed to go on as normal. You're supposed to learn and become something better. I'm trying. You regrow nerves. Um, Kaluminati. I also take lion's mane and that's been really amazing for regrowing the myelin sheath over the nerves. It's 100% not insane. Thanks, John. <laughs> 100% does regrow nerves. Well, actually, I wanted to ask a question. Okay. Um, it actually depends from person to person. For me, with some people, eye contact is easy. With others, it's hard. Maybe it's because eyes are the gate to the soul. Well, you heard what I just said then. I, I echo your sentiments. I love how you say it's insane to be normal where there isn't any normal. <laughs> just being normal no matter how we be right valerie poland loves you um there are a lot of polish people that support this channel the poles have such a good relationship to mushrooms and i really enjoy the polish community i'm gonna be taking the ferry um let me tell you where i'm gonna be i'm going i'm trying to go to poland because ava maciejczyk she's a polish researcher i interviewed her here on youtube and she did a lot of work on um exactly what's in the amanita mushroom and so i'm interviewing her for the channel and she's in poland and so i'm trying to see where i can get to interview her and i am going to be in blintarp i'm trying to see the name of the ferry that goes from Y-S-T-A-D, the Estad Ferry in Sweden. It's a six-hour ferry, and I'm taking it to this city in Poland. It goes up this little canal, and it looks like the port... I don't know the name of the port. There's no city there. But the road is, I don't know. Or there's a lighthouse there called S-W-I-N. Let me see if I can copy it. Maybe you can look it up on your, well, it won't let me copy it. It's near the White Eagle Monument. It's on the north end of your country where that the, the water there separates you from Sweden. The Latarnia Morska, that's the lighthouse. And then there's a port right there. And so that's where I'm going to be coming into Poland to interview her. And that's going to be the first week of September, I think. Can I ask you a silly question and I won't circle it with any talk about my connection with local uni research? Yeah, I, yeah, we get into all kinds of crazy talk. You can ask anything. Can I keep it a secret? How are you going to ask me a question here publicly and me keep it a secret? I'll keep it a secret, but how are you going to keep it a secret? Hey, child advocate. Oh, hey, you just got here. Hey, oh my God. Hey, welcome. Oh, Amanita has helped Alan with concussion injury. Really? Really? I would like to know more. I feel like I'll not make eye contact because most of the time I'm working on a joke. Hi from Phoenix. Uh, we have several people from Arizona over in our community. Arizona is always representing. Don't forget about inflation and money is tight for a lot of people. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, inflation is, I've never seen it this bad in my life. 
Midsummer is a horror film directed by the incredible Ari Aster. It features a recently traumatized woman, more or less peer pressured into taking shrooms. In a new environment full of strangers, her group of friends resulting in a very bad trip. Oh, my God. You know, I wonder sometimes, you know how movies tend to usher in new ways of thinking? They can also help discredit things and create like this voice of, I don't know. Movies can be very powerful, and it always pisses me off when they always say negative shit. Like, I homeschooled my children. You wouldn't believe how many movies make fun of homeschooling. Polish American Brotherhood on YouTube. Hell yeah. Um, well, I did Amanita once. Don't remember the dose, but it was a lot. Basically, it was a neutral golden grid round temple. Other was black void with white dot at the center, and I approached. That's cool. Yeah, there's a lot of ways to take it. Smaller doses really can do a lot, and I am not a big fan of just jumping into large doses. Like That's something you should do way later. Child advocate, a lot of people are unhinged. Yeah, plus it... When you scare this many people and you do this, make make this many changes and cause this much trauma in the world, then you make people who are already not okay unhinged in, and it happens so quickly, they don't have the ability to get the mental health help or to adjust to it. And then on top of that, when you run prices up like this and people can't even get things that they need for their children, like it's. So much is happening so rapidly. Um, here's my question. Can you one day get a small piece of salt crystal, say, play a small laser on it, hold it next to your heart, see if your thymus gland reacts, field theory? I don't know. I mean, I've read a lot of Tesla and a lot of his studies and a lot of his work. I do understand that silicon-based crystals do move and hold information. Those pieces between electricity and silica-based crystals and the mushroom entities, that all that connection, I haven't even begun to think about. But I didn't keep it a secret. Let's see. Chloropia. And felt like insane long time, hundreds of years each time. Oh, this is the rest of your experience. I felt hellish worse pain when I approached the center and became the scream. Yeah. That's, uh, and was sucked back out into reality, back and forth, back. Now, now my, my same experiences with this are going in and out of reality. That's like a thing with this mushroom. That, that's very much a thing. Had to relearn words from scratch to get back to reality. Yeah, sometimes I'll go so far off of this current timeline that getting back to this timeline is a struggle. Um, I talk about one of those experiences in the video that I just uploaded um, it's still checking it. I can check and see if it's uploaded yet or not, but it's still checking it for keywords that it can use to censor me with. Um, I believe I died in mind ego, maybe hadn't. Well, I mean, like that's a lot of these Amanita experiences are death because it deals in pre-birth trauma sometimes. Sorry for spamming. You didn't just really want to share this experience for a long time. Yeah, that's, I want to hear more people's experiences and that's what we talk about. I don't mean to keep harping on the community, but like, I know it's there. And then I see all of you guys having these conversations that we have there on a regular basis. And I just want you to know that it's there, but it's expensive. I had to go up on the prices to pay for it. Um, let's see. <laughs> you love my answer, John. It's not much of an answer. It's just so like I haven't even put those together. I know the connection is there. I just haven't had time to think about it. Uh, angry, drunken, German, looking to try to start addressing migraines, insomnia, anxiety, start with introductory dose at first just to get some sleep. Well, you'd be surprised that you don't need a, a large dose to get help with all that. You may, you may find a lot of healing faster than you expect, I think. Good stuff, y'all. We're covering so much so fast. It's crazy. God, an, an hour has almost gone by. Thank you so much for all your donations. This really, really, really helps.
Okay. I'm caught up. Psych Substance has a breakdown of the trip scene, if anyone is curious to see just that part. Um, I know when he did Amanita, it wasn't... It was a pretty tame experience compared to the ones that I've had and that I've put up on my channel. I did them on on camera or whatever, but he just didn't take enough in my experience from what I've experienced. Yeah, you're way more advanced with your answer than most other people would be. Yeah, I guess because I... I guess because I know enough of the science and I and and I read enough of the science on all of the that stuff, and I'm more open minded and not as dogmatic about science. I'm more, I'm more forward thinking about science, you know, and less dogmatic about the past science. I'm more hopeful about future science. I guess. I hope you're right because we need a better world, right? I've read trip report of a guy who was in the same golden realm as me and a black void. He was as a Christ getting nailed, felt pain, blood. So interesting. Um, you really need to go watch the video. I just uploaded when they stopped checking it. I swear to God, they've been checking it for two hours now for keywords. But once YouTube uploads it and allows it to be seen, go watch it. It's on the full Muscomol experience. So, we're caught up. We're at 56 minutes. Y'all want to call it a day? Mm. I went to Hawaii to do some shooting and filming and hold ceremony there. Freaking powerful place and beautiful. But did y'all know that chickens run wild all over Kauai because uh, there was a hurricane and it destroyed some chicken farming facility and like they got blown all over the island and now they just breed and they're everywhere wild it's crazy literally everywhere like literally everywhere in every parking lot walking down the street on the beach like they're everywhere it's crazy yeah i'll do more of these i'll really try i have such limited time yeah they are truly free range chickens <laughs> Bill, you were my inspiration to start smoking Amanitas, which I do regularly. They're so good for the soul to smoke regularly. Andrew, you're a fancy chicken. <laughs> that is an amazing compliment. Thank you. I never got to a trip state with this, as some folks imply. Is this what other folks experience, or have I perhaps built a strong tolerance due to regular usage? Um, no, it's just that different people get different experiences. I don't know what how high your doses have been. Um, you do develop like a reverse tolerance to it where you need less over time. And the method of use is different. So if you take it, if you're smoking it a lot, try the tea. It's the chicken's island now. It is. It is. It really is. Angela, I've been microdosing since Eastern, thinking about either doing a macro or smoking it in a lunar eclipse. I can't recommend anything. That's practicing medicine without a license. I'm sorry. But I enjoy smoking on celestial events. It seems to really boost the experience. Aw. Clinton. Hey, man. Cool. Hey. <laughs> um. What's a common microdose? There's not a common microdose. Amanita is so, it's so varied in dosage. You just have to go watch the video on finding your dose. It's on amanitadreamer.net. I couldn't put it here. All right. I'm going to go check on my video that I uploaded and see what's going on. Can Amanita be vape? No. I have this vape right here. It's a really cool one and I was really happy to find it. It's really beautiful. It's really well made. I like it. But... It's got so much fat in it that it won't it won't vaporize. This is only for plant, really, really dry, leafy plant material. It, this mushroom just doesn't do well. Cool. Well, um, you may find that Amanita smoke is not as difficult as you think. When I hold ceremony, we smoke it, and, and it's mostly people who've never smoked before or her or who don't like to smoke or can't can't usually smoke 
have no problem with it. So I don't know if you smoked it and gotten that or not, Jason. Will do. Been holding off the tea due to not having a trip partner responsible use. Yeah. If you're not taking high, high, high doses, I'm not going to tell you to do it alone, but like I do it alone all the time. Are you going to make teas for anxiety? Um, are you asking other people? Or are you asking me? Yeah, I found blues get the reverse tolerance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one is less reverse tolerant as, than the blue one, but you still will get that. Okay, that's kind of what Angela was asking. Let me see if YouTube has allowed my video to show up yet. No. Oh, yeah, here we go. Cool. Well, there we go. My video is now live, so this is a good time to end the stream. Um, go see the video I just uploaded. And go comment. People don't comment very much on my videos. I don't know why. Go say good things. It'll help it boost in the algorithm, and it'll help bring more people into the community and whatever. Smoking, is it is a nutty flavor. I like it. Yo, you're very welcome, Valerie. Thank you all for being here. Thank you so much for all the donations. I really appreciate it. To me, pantherina caps are easier to smoke than... Really? Well, I have a pantherina story, but I'll save it for the next time I go live. I love you, beautiful people. Thank you for being here. Y'all are great. Thanks for spending some of my Saturday with me. I want to hang out again soon. I'll post another uh, live whenever I can do that again. My calendar's packed, but I will do what I can. I love y'all. Thank you.